Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, if you're new to the channel, we have a little monthly series where we highlight 10 new and or updated iOS apps released to the App Store each month. I've been making these videos for almost five years now, which is insane. I actually didn't realize it was, it's was it been that long until I started researching uh, for this video. So that's crazy. Um, but with 2019 coming to an end, we just wanted to create one big video with all the apps discussed this year, which totals 120 iOS apps. So sit back, relax, because we're going to be talking about iOS apps for close to an hour. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. Quickie will expand the number of apps you have access to on the bottom tray of your home screen. You can select four apps that will appear when you long press the Quickie icon. So you will need an iPhone with 3D touch support, which is most of the new iPhones anyway. But as you can see here, the pop-up window will display the four apps I selected and I can tap on one of the options to open up the said app. You will have to pay 99 cents in order to have the option to pick all of your apps to work with uh, this pop-up window. But I don't think that's too steep of a price when you consider the convenience. Text caption on Photos Editor lets you add real-time text and filters directly to your camera. You can add captions, you can add quotes, or whatever else you can think of to your camera, and then share the results with your friends. You have templates to choose from too, as well as different canvases to fit your social media sites. For example, there's a square canvas you can work with and use for Instagram, a Facebook cover size canvas for your Facebook profile, and uh, there's a custom canvas for an iPhone wallpaper. Laser Overload is a puzzle game using lasers. Your goal is to connect energy sources with batteries to recharge them. And you do this by rotating mirrors and using energy teleports to keep the grid functional. There are more than 300 levels to play through and you can choose to collect the stars for an additional challenge. Musemidge, I, I think I'm saying that right, is a powerful camera app that has many more features than the stock camera app in iOS. It lets you use different filters and effects in real time while shooting without waiting in full HD and full resolution photos. You have a green screen feature, a time lapse mode, stop motion mode, and a magic color mode that will let you change the color of any object. But my favorite feature is the manual mode, which gives you manual camera controls in an easy dial interface. Best of all, the app is free. Translate King might be the king of translate apps as it can translate languages via photos and speech. You can literally speak to the app and it'll start translating what is being said into the language of your choice, which uh, I suppose is pretty standard for translating apps nowadays, but still neat. There's a conversation mode where you can communicate back and forth with people from all over the world and it'll translate your conversations in real time. There's text translation, of course, and camera translation, where you can snap a photo and let it translate the text instantaneously. As the cherry on top, it supports Siri shortcuts. Nonstop Space Defense is a colorful arcade game where you have to fight an endless wave of space invaders by commanding your spaceships to act as defense towers. The goals that you collect from shooting the space invaders will let you upgrade your spaceships to fight stronger foes. If you like what you see, you should check out Nonstop Space Defense. Atomic Battery Life is a utility app for your iPhone's battery. The app will give you insight into the health of your phone's battery, as well as info on your disk space. You can even check your usage and see a breakdown for how you're using your phone. In the resources section, you can get device information, you can compare different iPhone models, check out the specs and features, uh, you can adjust the auto brightness, and do a lot more other things. Cleaner is another utility app of sorts that will clean out duplicate photos and contacts to free up some space. You can delete large files and manage data usage. The app will recognize similar photos and screenshots, letting you easily delete them without having to comb through each photo and delete them individually. The same applies for contacts and duplicate contacts. Uh, you can also compress the size of your photos and videos to save even more space if you want to do that. Check out this app if you need to free up some space on your iPhone. Capture is a really cool app that doesn't have a lot of real world uses, but is certainly cool. The app uses your face ID sensors to let you 3D scan objects and share the results with others. Now, of course, you will need an iPhone 10 or other device with face ID, but all you have to do is just tap on the shutter button 
and scan the object you want uh, a 3D model of by moving your phone around the object and uh, it'll save the 3D model. It doesn't produce the most accurate results. I mean, your uh, results will vary, but it's still cool nonetheless. Row Row is a simple yet fun animated game where you have to paddle down streams as fast as you can. The screen is split in half, so when you tap the left side, it activates the left paddle, and when you tap on the right side, it works the right paddle. As you progress down the stream, you'll have to avoid rocks and other obstacles. There's a bunch of different boats to unlock and many challenging levels to play through. Class Timetable may very well be a must-have app if you're a student, as it will help you keep track of your classes and your events. You have a beautiful color-filled interface, multi-week timetables, a task list to help keep track of homework, and there are swipe-based controls. Who doesn't like swipe-based controls? If you like these features, you might even like the pro features, which include class notifications, task reminders, and exportable data. Wow. When I go back to school, I'll be using this app, and no, this is not a sponsor. The History of Everything is a vertical timeline that allows you to navigate, explore, and compare events from the Big Bang to the birth of the internet. What I like about this app is the learning factor, but also the beautiful illustrations and animations. It's super neat, and it's great for visual learners like myself. The app was apparently inspired by the video, The History and Future of Everything, which you might have seen on YouTube. It kind of blew up. It's a great video, highly recommend it. Just search for it and maybe search for this app too if you like it. Backflipper is an animated ragdoll physics game where you try and land a successful backflip with your character. The controls are simple. You press once to initiate the backflip and you press again to stop and hopefully land on your target. There's a bunch of characters to choose from and different locations. It's a fun way to pass the time. Planny2 is a smart to-do list app with an incredibly clean layout that will make you wonder if Apple developed this app. The app has features like deadlines, lists and projects, tagging, location-based reminders, notes and attachments, routines, the list goes on and on. You can get a calendar view of your things to do, daily personalized suggestions and analytics to see how productive you've been over the past week or so. It's pretty great, check it out. Tease Air is an app for all of you ASMR fanatics. All you gotta do is plug in some headphones and start feeling the slime on the screen and enjoy as the sound will tickle your body from head to toe. There are different textures to choose from, so if you don't like slime, you can pick a different texture and depending on how you touch the screen, different sounds will be made. Again, if you're an ASMR fan, give this app a try. Okay, I don't think I'm doing that right. Sorry guys. I'm new to this whole thing. Get Fact is a game where you have to unlock the missing words from thousands of facts. The app will get you a fact with a missing word. It'll then give you a bunch of scrambled up letters that you have to unscramble to make the word that fits the phrase. So not only do you learn a bunch of facts, but you get a brain workout from trying to unscramble the letters. Oftentimes I don't play games because I feel like they kind of rot my brain and waste time, but this game makes me reconsider that mentality. Ding Dong XL is a one-button arcade score chaser. All you have to do is tap the screen to send the ball to the top or bottom of your display. Your goal is to dodge the obstacles and rack up as many points as possible. Of course, you know, as you advance, it gets trickier and trickier. You have more obstacles and stuff in your way. Ah, I guess that's life now, isn't it? Vellum Wallpapers offers hundreds of stunning images to help you keep your iPhone's wallpaper fresh as there are new wallpapers added every single day. What's neat about this app is that in addition to the various images, you can add a blur effects to spice up the aesthetics and add some contrast between your apps and your wallpaper. Sometimes there's so much going on behind your apps, it's hard to see the apps themselves, so this blur feature comes in handy. If you need a new wallpaper, check out Vellum Wallpapers. Sunrise Sunset Times does just as the name implies. It shows you the sunset, sunrise, and first and last light times to the exact minute for your location. It doesn't just show you the times for your closest city. No, it calibrates itself to show you the exact times for your specific location. The app also shows you exactly how much daylight is left in the day in a large, easy to read display, so you can plan your day accordingly. Snake 97 is a retro phone classic where you get to play the classic snake game via an old retro phone. 
What's neat is you can choose between different old phone interfaces and the controls are super retro. For example, you control the snake via the phone's keypad, just like the good old days. If you're looking for a trip back to 1997 and you enjoy the game Snake, give this app a download. Secret Files 108 is a file explorer that will keep private photos and videos safe and secure for you. The app supports almost all video formats and offers a number of different ways to import and export your photos and your videos. There's a built-in browser to help you navigate to your videos and photos without leaving a trace. And of course, you can add a pin, use Touch ID or Face ID to secure those files. Wobble is a really cool all-in-one social media app designed so you can follow, explore, and engage with your favorite people across all social media platforms all in one place. What's more is that they use a chronological order, which is my personal favorite way to sort through social media posts. You can create a feed that's only from people you choose and you can toggle different feeds on and off. So if you want to just see a, your Instagram feed or just the YouTube feed, you can do just that. This is a pretty neat app that I can see getting super popular over the years. Rescue Plan Flight Control is a fun new game where you have to plan and rescue aircraft by tagging and controlling them to ensure a safe landing. The longer you play, the more aircraft you have to control until eventually you'll be so overwhelmed that a collision is inevitable. The goal is really just to see how long you can last. It's simple, the game's unique and fun. If you like what you see, give it a try. HQ Wallpapers is one of the latest wallpaper apps to hit the App Store. What I like about these wallpapers is that they're colorful and they're simple, reminiscent of the stock wallpapers built into iOS. The app itself is pretty well designed too, allowing you to preview each wallpaper before you apply them by showcasing a bunch of stock apps and letting you swipe between home screens without actually applying the wallpaper to your phone. There's just a lot of great options here. Habit Daily Tracker does just as the name implies. It helps you create and maintain good habits, allowing you to achieve your long-term goals. The app uses graphs and statistics to help you uh, show how your habits have improved over time. What I especially like about this app is that it's free. It lets you store an unlimited number of habits and it's also ad-free. There's also some neat features like the ability to add notes and motivational quotes, as well as reminders. What's cool is that the developer seems to be working on this app because they're actually passionate about it and they're not just trying to make money. Draw It is a fun multiplayer game where you have to draw as many objects as you can in a limited amount of time. But the game gets fun when you factor in the other people playing against you. It's kind of like a modern day Pictionary. It's also kind of neat to see how the AI tries to guess what it is you're drawing. Memory Calculator will remember the value you calculated four calculations ago with nice, easy to find buttons. There's a history screen to see your stored values and past calculations, and there's even a widget that will also display your stored values. The app supports 3D touch and even supports landscape mode on the iPad. While it's not the most technical, uh, advanced calculator app on the App Store, it may still be exactly what you need. Mobile Master GPU will quickly and accurately measure your iPhone's real GPU frequency and frequency reduction. It provides all sorts of information about your device, your CPU, operating system, memory, GPU, network, and even your battery. As a product reviewer who needs to review the technical information of a device, this app really comes in clutch. I can absolutely recommend it to anyone who's really detail-oriented. Curio is an app that lets you listen to stories from some of the most respected publications like The Economist, The Washington Post, The Guardian, Financial Times, and more. You can try it out for free, you get 10 free tracks, but I absolutely love this app as it displays stories in an easy to read and navigate user interface that displays the length of the stories. So if you just have five minutes of time, you can listen to a five minute story. You have playlists and you can save stories some of you might not know this, but I'm the senior editor of Slashdot, so I'm constantly reading articles. Uh, this app is really nice if I want to take a breather and listen to an article instead of reading it. Life After is apparently one of the most popular games in China, fun fact. It's a zombie game where you have to slay the zombies with weapons or whatever it is available, deal with survivors you may find on your journey. You actually gotta decide if you wanna share your supplies with them or kill them and you have to build a sanctuary for humanity. That's kind of the goal. 
This game is seriously underrated and I highly recommend it for those who enjoy PUBG. Just keep in mind that the game is really popular so the servers can be kind of slow, so just be patient. Dingo is a pretty awesome find. It lets you browse through the selection of content offered by your favorite streaming services like Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon. And the layout is similar to like Tinder as you swipe through content card by card. You can pick genres to filter through and switch between movies and TV shows. This is just a much better way to browse through content um, than on my TV. Brightly is an app that uses computer vision technology to brighten up your dark photos. It's like the Google Pixel's night sight mode, but in app form. And what's neat is that it's all basically automatic. You just pick a photo from your gallery and it'll apply its magic. You can then turn up or down the effect depending on your liking. Tiny Alien is a retro space arcade game that's a ton of fun. The goal is to jump and shoot your way through space and defeat the evil empire and bring back the sacred gems. This game will make you miss the good old days where graphics were two-dimensional and the storylines were linear. If you like what you see, check out Tiny Alien. Calorie is one of two fitness health apps we have for you that lets you count the calories you consume on a daily basis. Now, there's a million of these apps on the Play Store, but what caught my eye was just how well designed and simplified this app is. After you punch in your information, which by the way, you can pair it with HealthKit, it'll spit out a calorie goal for you to either lose, maintain, or gain weight. The app will send you notifications throughout the day to help you remember to log your calories so you don't forget. And you could search for food to add to the log and then once you have established a record, you can view the analytics to see how well you're doing. Endel is the other health-related app we have for you. Unlike Calorie, this app uses personalized sounds to help you focus, relax, and or fall asleep. So while Calorie is more for your physical health, Endel is more for your mental health. The app comes across sort of creepy as it asks for your location, your health data, and the ability to track your motion all in an effort to personalize its sounds. But the app is great to have if you find that sounds help you focus or reduce stress. While there's an interactive element that lets you tap to make sounds, I just like to set it down on a desk and let it do its thing. PGA Tour Golf Shootout is one of the funnest golfing games to hit the App Store. The graphics are great and there's a bunch of golf clubs to collect and upgrade and different challenges to beat. What's also neat is you can play against real people from around the world via the versus mode. If you like what you see, check out this app. Copy text on screen does exactly what the name implies. If the option to long press on text to copy isn't available, you can use this app instead. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the text, open up the screenshot and share it with this application, uh, drag the corners to select the text and also select the language to OCR and then press extract. That's it. It'll work its magic and spit out text that you can copy to your clipboard. Isn't that cool? I sure think so. Pigeon Wings is a fun, simple game where you play as a pigeon who has to save the world from a mysterious aeronautics titan. There are 50 levels to race through. All you have to do is hold one finger on the go button and then tilt your phone up and down to avoid obstacles. It gets pretty darn tough and can be pretty trippy on the eyes, but overall it's pretty fun. PicFin is another utility app we have for you that uses screenshots, but unlike copy text on screen, this app will stitch together multiple screenshots into one giant screenshot. The app will automatically match the position, crop, and merge your screenshots into one single image. And what's also kind of cool is you can use it to stitch ordinary photos together too by manually selecting the cropping areas. So it's kind of cool. It doesn't have to be just one big long screenshot of text. It can be actual photos too. Boost Buddies is sort of like a vertical flappy bird where you have to tap on the screen to cause the buddy, in this case, to jump up on the screen. The challenge is just having to avoid the obstacles which become more and more abundant as you progress in the game. I will say Flappy Bird is much easier, but if you're up for a challenge, you might wanna give this game a shot. Kernel is a new movie release tracker app that gives you a countdown to when your favorite movies are released to the theaters. 
The app has a massive collection of upcoming films with information like the synopsis, trailer, release date, and the cast members. You can add your favorite movies to the watch list and choose when the app sends you personalized notifications to count down from 25 days, 10 days, five days, and so on. If you're a movie buff, you'll definitely want this app. Carrot Weather has been around for a little while, but it has been updated to make it even better. The Carrot Weather Bot gives you all sorts of weather-related information in a fun, personality-rich way. You can let Carrot's dialogue shine through, or you can disable her to keep her completely professional. There's just a bunch of features I really like in this app. Uh, one of my favorites is the Time Machine feature that lets you look up the weather for any location up to 70 years in the past. The app works across all of Apple's devices. It has a nice, stylish, minimal layout to view the weather, and uh, there are radar and satellite maps. The only downside with this weather app is its relatively steep price of about $5. Hashtag Drive is an endless driving game that's inspired by road and action movies from the 1970s. All you have to do with this game is just pick your car and pick a place and you can start driving. Your only real goal is to not run into anything. I love the cartoony 3D landscapes and the simple mechanics. Wally -E is a new wallpapers application that features some incredible wallpapers that'll surely spice up the look and feel of your phone. The app features a bunch of artists, each with their own unique style, hand-selected by the Wally -E team. The app actually shares their earnings with the artists they feature, which is one of the main reasons why I like this app. Um, unlike many wallpaper apps that feature distinct styles, this app features a little bit of everything, so you should find at least one wallpaper that'll pique your interest. Tick Done is an interesting take on how-to articles. The app tries to simplify tutorials by making them easy to read and short and concise. You have a bunch of different tutorials ranging from how to make sushi to how to make your own body lotion bars. What's cool is that before you even tap on a tutorial, you'll see the number of steps involved, so you'll know how intensive a tutorial is before you commit to it. The search functionality is nice, and uh, there's even categories you can browse through if you're not exactly sure what you're looking for. Gravity Man is an adventure puzzle game where you play as a cartoon astronaut with a super gadget that inverts gravity to help you solve the puzzle you're playing and escape the ship that you're living on. You can navigate the levels by using gravity, walls, rolling carpets, portals, and propellers, all while avoiding lasers. There's a bunch of different levels to play through, and the dark mode is nice and easy on the eyes. Noted is one of the latest and greatest note-taking apps to hit the App Store. What makes this app so unique is how it fuses notes and audio together. Basically, you start by recording the audio of a lecture or a conference, and then as you take written notes, the written notes are timestamped to your audio recording, giving you an instant overview of all the important details. It's pretty neat because you'll never have to worry about trawling through pages of notes or hours of audio. Medley is the other audio-related app on the list that helps you create music in a timeline similar to a video editing app. All you have to do is pick your instruments, draw notes, record and sing, and drag and drop one of over 1,600 loops or samples. It's obviously gonna require some time to get the feel for this app and to record your actual sounds, but the app is free and it makes editing as easy as possible. Statue of Liberty is a new information app that gives you insight into the Statue of Liberty monument. I wanted to include it in the list because it comes as the $75 million, 26,000 square foot Statue of Liberty Museum opened up on Liberty Island earlier this month after being in development for almost three years. If you're interested in this monument or you want to learn more or you just plan on visiting the museum or the monument, this app would be a good place to start. What I especially like about this app, aside from all of the information it offers, is how it uses augmented reality to provide breathtaking views of the island and the monument, and uh, it lets you view the engineering and just the making of Lady Liberty. Carpool Dad is an app from Jason Nash, comedian and member of the Vlog Squad on YouTube. I thought I'd include this app on the list because I'm an active watcher of David Dobrik's vlogs and the game isn't actually that bad. Basically, all you have to do is help Jason get through his day-to-day -day life by collecting everything from memory cards for his camera to bagels for his kids. 
Your goal is to avoid the walls of the map, and that's really it. Pi is a great app that teaches you how to code. The app teaches you everything from Python and Swift to HTML, CSS, and Java. It's a great way to introduce people to the world of programming through short, bite-sized lessons. The reason it's on the list is because it's constantly being updated with new courses and expansions to existing courses. There are interactive elements and quizzes and the ability to write and run your code. You can also earn points to create a bit of an incentive or reward system for completing your courses. Definitely check this app out. VoiceOver Video does exactly what the name implies. This will let you easily add a voiceover to a video you have on your iPhone. It's stupid simple and easy to figure out. Just select a video and enable some permissions and you'll be able to add a voiceover to a video just like that. Heli 100 is a fun game where you control a helicopter gunship that has to blast its way through flying alien armies. Yeah, that's right. There are 100 stages to play through and various power-ups and helicopters to unlock to help you achieve your goal. The controls are easy. You just use the left and right sides of the screen to steer and hold both sides at the same time to stop your movement. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Radio In is one of the newest FM tuner apps on the App Store. The app allows you to stream your favorite FM stations over the internet in a beautiful, simple user interface. You can pick radio stations from Puerto Rico or France and stream the stations that are broadcasted locally. It's pretty awesome and totally free. What's not to love? Pink is an app that will help you never forget a pin code ever again. All you have to do is come up with a pattern using the pre-installed cell matrix. So basically you just pick a pattern and then plug in the code that's being used for your house or a lockbox or whatever it is that you want to remember. After you select a color and hit save, you'll see that the app will add a bunch of random digits to keep your combination secure. So only you will know the pattern and number combo in this big matrix of numbers. Everyone else who sees this matrix will just think it's a bunch of jumbled up numbers. It's pretty neat and uh, it even syncs between devices via iCloud and it features support for Touch ID and Face ID. Drop Drop is a simple 2D puzzle game where you have to drag colorful squares to the top of the screen. Your goal is to match the colors of the squares so that they'll disappear and allow you to add more squares to the grid. It's certainly not a unique game, but it's pretty fun and it's easy just to pick up and play. Colorize is one of the newest apps designed to add color to your black and white photos. It uses AI to scan your images and accurately add color where there should be color, all with one tap. You just have to import a black and white photo and tap colorize and it'll add color to your photo. From there, you can save or send the photo to someone you know. It's pretty simple. Twitterific is one of the better Twitter clients on the App Store. The app aims to add features that don't exist in the official Twitter app, as well as to improve the look and feel. What I like about it is its support for the chronological tweets and all of the customizable features that are in this app. So you can customize fonts, uh, general appearances, image thumbnails, and more. There's also 3D touch support, an automatic dark mode that'll turn on at night, which I think is pretty cool and the ability to hide unwanted words, phrases, hashtags, users, or you name it. If you want to block out curse words, you can do that if you like. Uh, there's just a lot to like about this Twitter client. Tilde, or T-I-L-D-E, is a really neat photo video app that takes all those live photos you have, you know, the ones that are like three second video clips recorded each time you take a photo, and it stitches them together to create a little video collage. It's really easy to use. You just select the photos you want and it'll take those live videos associated with the photos and stitch them into a video that's suitable for all your favorite social media sites. Rescue Wings is a cartoony game where you play as Scruffy the dog who has taken up the firefighter's call to fight wildfires. You have to control Scruffy and his plane by dipping down into the water to fill up the plane's water reservoir and then fly over fires and drop that water on the fires. It gets pretty tricky as you have to duck and weave your way through caves and over forests. Some of the planes you can control, uh, they range from rocket-fueled jets to stealth bombers, UFOs, and even a propeller-toting avocado. Yeah, that's right, a propeller-toting avocado. If you like what you see, 
check out Rescue Wings. Pixo is a screenshot stitching app that can automatically merge multiple screenshots into one single long screenshot. What's cool about this app is that it allows up to 300 photos to be stitched together and you can stitch them horizontally or vertically. The app makes it easy to select the size of the photos to drag and position just right so you get them all matched up just the way you like it. There are even some extra tools to help you draw on the photos and highlight or distort certain areas. For $1, I think this app is absolutely worth it. SPDR is a speed reading app that should help you read three to 400 words per minute, which is twice as fast as the normal rate. Speeder displays words one by one with punctuation pauses giving Speeder a natural and seamless feel. Rather than moving your eyes across and down a page like you normally would, Speeder allows you to absorb text as it is presented. This means your eyes don't wander off and have to work as hard, enabling you to read and retain more text faster without your eyes getting tired and fatiguing. I've used a couple other speed reading apps in the past. They're definitely not for everyone, but they actually are pretty useful for long news articles or books. Project Zero Deaths is a 2D platform shooter packed full of action and characters to play with, each with their own unique skills and upgrades. There's a number of modes to play, like a capture the flag mode or bomb deliver or ring collecting game modes. You can play alone or with friends in a co-op online multiplayer team v team battle. I like all the weapons and the different maps. Overall, this game is a lot of fun. Stellar may be a must-have app if you post often to Instagram stories. The app helps you create beautiful multi-page stories with various themes, offering new fonts, new colors, text boxes, and maps that aren't found in the stock Instagram app. It even works natively with Instagram so you can share directly to Instagram or even other social media apps like Twitter and Facebook. As you can see, there's a lot of good looking themes to select and show off your photos. I highly recommend this app. Summarize aims to help you better comprehend and remember the books you read by organizing all of your notes, your takeaways, and comments in one central location. The app lets you search for a book to add to your reading list. Uh, from there, you can tap on the book to add a summary of the book, add key takeaways, and add various notes while you read, or you can even add comments about the book. The idea is to have one big catalog of books you have read or are currently reading with notes all about them in one easy to find place. It's pretty neat. Boom Pilot is a fun top-down shooter where you have to maneuver your airplane into a heated air battle against malfunctioning robots. There are a bunch of beautiful worlds to fly through and special items and upgrades to use to advance further in the game and beat the bosses and various enemies. The game is really easy to pick up and play as it just requires one finger to drag your plane around the screen and use the various items. Breeze Weather is the newest weather app on the App Store. The app displays accurate weather readings in a very simple, minimal manner with two different themes to choose from, relaxing wine or vibrant electric themes. You can add multiple locations and there are swipe controls to view the weather in those other locations. If you like what you see, check out Breeze Weather. Check It Tree is a file manager that syncs up to your desktop computer so you can view the status of your downloads from your phone. The file manager allows you to control your files by pausing, resuming, canceling, and more. The app is really handy for those who download a bunch of files on their computer as you'll be able to view the progress from afar. Currently, the app works with Windows, iOS, and Android but a Mac version is coming soon. Stow Card is a pretty neat concept as it combines all your rewards cards in one free app. You know how almost every store has a rewards program? Well, this app will take your reward card for each store that you go to on a frequent day-to-day -day basis, and it keeps it here in this one app. So all you have to do is just boot up the app and have them scan the card from the app without you needing to carry around a physical card. The app could save you a ton of wallet space. Uh, it sure has for me. The Creator is a relaxing one-button game with original animation and soundtrack. 
You have to journey through an expansive world, nurturing plants and making friends along the way. As the seasons change, it becomes more difficult to progress, but you can always switch to Zen mode to get rid of the obstacles and just enjoy the beauty and relaxation that this game offers. The game is free to download with in-app purchases, but there are no ads. Fluid Simulation is one of the coolest relaxation or anti-anxiety apps on the App Store. There are no goals other than to help alleviate boredom or anxiety. All you have to do is touch your finger on the display and move it around to create stunning visuals meant to ease the mind. It's really neat what the developers have been able to do with the visuals here. Libby is a must-have app for ebook and audiobook lovers. Using your library card, you can borrow tons of ebooks and audiobooks instantly using this app. And if you don't have a library card, you can easily get one uh, using this app. I, I did that myself. It was super easy. There's a built-in reader and audiobook player, so you don't have to find a separate app to play or read the content you download. Uh, you can download content for offline use and sign in to multiple libraries with one or more library cards. Secret Signs is an app where you have to solve riddles without instructions. The point is to figure out what the point is by tapping and moving things around. It starts out pretty easy, but it definitely gets more tricky as you progress through the game. What's also neat is the theories behind the riddles, which it tells you about after you complete each riddle. It's pretty cool and can even offer a little bit of a learning experience. Spotify Stations came out not too long ago. It offers a dedicated Pandora-like app, but for Spotify subscribers. The app will use Spotify's algorithms to construct radio stations based off your favorite artists, your moods or genres that you're interested in. It's pretty nice to have in your app portfolio, if you ask me. Note is a really cool app that uses AI to turn your notes into quizzes. It helps you learn material faster and better by automatically generating quizzes from your notes. Just type in or upload your notes, hit quiz, and get started. Get studying, I should say. There's also cloud support, so you can see notes across your devices, and Google Drive is supported to help retrieve your notes from there, if that's where you keep your notes. This is pretty much a must-have app if you are a student. I highly recommend it. Super Spinball is a retro-styled spin dizzy runner where you have to navigate close quarters and collect happy coins to purchase spin balls. You also have to jump over holes and other obstacles or else you'll have to reset and try the level over again. It starts off super easy, but after a while it gets harder and you'll start to get dizzier, which makes it even harder. I just like the simplicity of this game. I think it's a lot of fun. Lockdown is the world's first open source firewall for iOS, allowing you to block any connection to any domain and protect your privacy across the web for free. There's a game ads block list, Snapchat analytics block list, and more. If you're one that really values your privacy and you like to control your internet connections, I highly recommend Lockdown Apps. Mini Archer is a casual game with simple game mechanics. Pull back the arrow from the bow and pierce it into the target. That's pretty much your goal. If you shoot arrows in the middle of the target, you gain coins, which can be used to unlock characters in the store. It's fun, it's simple, and it's just a great way to pass the time with. Movies Anywhere is a neat app that lets you watch pretty much any movie without any subscription. You just pay for each movie you want to watch as little or as many movies as you'd like. Now you can sync your digital accounts to bring your movies from iTunes and Amazon Prime and other places you own movies, so they're all in one place in this app. But I just like the ability to see which movies have just been released and are available to buy or rent. Hot Wheels Infinite Loop is one of the newest racing games to hit mobile platforms. You can play real-time, eight-player, person-versus-person racing while you smash, crash, and stunt your way to victory. There are a bunch of Hot Wheel cars to collect and help unlock more rewards and gain achievements. The graphics are great, and the gameplay is super fun and action-packed. If you like racing games, definitely check out Hot Wheels Infinite Loop. Mario Kart Tour is the hotly anticipated new racing game from Nintendo. You get to play as some of your favorite Nintendo characters like Mario, Donkey Kong, and Bowser, and race around courses inspired by real-world cities. 
in addition to classic Mario Kart courses. You get to collect items and use them to help you slow down your opponent and get the higher score. There are drivers, carts, and various badges to collect. If you're a Nintendo or Mario Kart fan, you should definitely check out this game. Pennant is a must-have app for sports fans. It's an app that displays the standings of your sports teams in a really neat, easy to understand chart with lots of additional details that could help you keep track of everything that's going on. It's the visual format that really makes this app unique, and what's neat is it supports iOS 13's dark mode as well as the new gestures to make it easy to navigate around the interface. The app supports baseball, football, and basketball standings with more sports on the way. Grammar Fix is a neat, simple app designed to help improve your grammar with short lessons and definitions. What this app focuses on is the top 10 most common grammar mistakes. And if you're able to beat all 10 mistakes, you'll unlock a bonus cheat sheet with various writing tips. So you start with your versus your, progress to its versus its, uh, a versus an, and then at the very bottom of the list, you are challenged to tell the difference between who and whom. This is definitely a fun app to download and just brush up on your skills. Mesmerize Visual Meditation offers a way for you to clear your mind and relax with a unique audio visual meditation experience. The visuals are very engaging and the music is soothing. Now there's a bunch of meditation apps on the App Store, so if you like this one, definitely give it a shot. If not, feel free to uninstall it and try something else. Qbert is a fun puzzle game where you have to help Qbert solve puzzles and avoid dangerous creatures. There are intuitive swipe controls and lots of levels and enemies to combat. It's reminiscent of an old arcade game, but it plays beautifully on iOS. The Spoke is a rather interesting app that delivers TV shows and food recommendations based on your taste and what your friends thought. You can choose from various delivery services to filter through, so if you just want to go to a restaurant that supports Uber Eats, you can do that. You can also filter through the ratings of a restaurant, specific cuisines or genres, and more. I gotta recommend this app if you're someone who frequently has a tough time finding a place to eat or a show to watch. Just Press Record may be my favorite mobile audio recorder thanks to all of the features it offers. In addition to one tap screen recording, it will transcribe audio to words and even sync with iCloud so that you'll get all of your recordings across all of your devices. You can edit your audio and transcriptions inside the app and even use Siri to start a recording without ever using your hands. The only downside I see with this app is that it costs $5, but I think it could be worth it if you, know, if you use screen recording a lot. Manual Camera 2 is a great app to have, especially for those of you with the new iPhone 11. The app gives you precise control over focus, exposure, ISO, shutter speed, white balance, and flash level. It's really easy to use and the results are really good. Apple has included more quote unquote pro features in the camera app, uh, but it's still nowhere near as advanced as what this app offers. So I highly recommend you check it out. PCalc Lite is a powerful calculator app that would be great for students looking for a more advanced calculator app. Uh, than the stock app found in iOS. It includes an optional RPN mode and multi-line display, uh, a various selection of buttons, various knit conversions and constants, a paper tape, multiple undo and redo actions, engineering and scientific notation, and much, much more. It even works on the iPad and the Apple Watch. Kaihi, or Kaihai, is a new game that's incredibly simple but lots of fun all you have to do is tap on the screen to move your kaihi blob creature thing to collect the coins and avoid the dangerous creatures. It starts off super easy, but it quickly picks up and can get quite challenging. Dualgram is a fairly simple camera app that lets you do one thing, capture photo and video from multiple cameras at the same time. You can record and narrate while you shoot, capture reaction videos, and vlog in ways you can't do via the standard camera app in iOS. Now this app only works with the iPhone XR, the XS, and all models of the iPhone 11, but it's a neat way to take advantage of the power of the new iPhones and their new cameras if you have one. 
Q Calendar is a social calendar that lets you connect with your friends and share events with them, organize events, and discover what's happening nearby. While some of your social networks may have this feature, like Snapchat I know lets you share your location with your friends, I think this is a way more practical and kind of less creepy way to see what your friends are doing because it, it intentionally is meant to interact with your friends and share your location. Now you can follow calendars of topics like sports, politics, and technology, and even follow calendars of your favorite apps and sports teams to know when like your favorite NBA team is playing next. There's a bunch of chat features built in. I think overall this is a great app to try and convince your friends to use. Tennis Clash is a super fun tennis game with awesome animations and 3D graphics. The controls are simple and swipe based. You can play with your friends in real time, unlock new players, assemble a team, and unlock new arenas. If Fortnite were a tennis game, it would be Tennis Clash. Boca is an app that lets you film portrait mode videos. That's right, you can get that really milky depth of field effect found in portrait mode for photos but with your videos now. You can tweak the amount of blur to get the right look and you can save videos to your camera roll. It does require a newer iPhone and the effects aren't perfect, but overall, it's still really cool. Snapshelf lets you scan books and documents and have them automatically converted into texts, which you can then send to your friends or whomever you want. The text is editable, letting you copy and paste easily, and it can be synced up via the cloud so it'll be available across all of your devices. It does cost a dollar per month after the free trial though, I do want to note. Tonic gives you interesting reads based off your interests. You just pick some things you're interested in and the app will curate some stories for you to read on the daily. What I like about this app is how it doesn't require a login or really any info about you just what you like to read. If you're a news junkie and just like to read, check out Tonic. Rocket Rooster is a fun arcade game where you have to try and get your genetically modified chicken blasted to new heights, all with the power of flatulence. That's right, you can't make this up. Well, I mean, someone has, but that's besides the point. It's a fast paced game that's easy to pick up and play and just see how far you can go to beat your high score. Cordia is a music discovery app designed for music lovers looking to expand their discography. It's a social app of sorts that lets you make a profile with your favorite music so you can follow others and get recommendations from them. But inside the app, you can search for people to follow or genres of music to explore and even use the discover tab to discover some of the top 10 or so recommended artists and songs that the app recommends you listen to. What's also kind of cool is the integration with some of the most popular music streaming services. So you can easily just tap on a button to open up the music in Spotify or Apple Music. Offscreen Screen Time Tracker is an app that does a great job neatly displaying how much time you spend on your phone. It even has a mode called Focus that will help you keep track of all the time you spend actively trying to not use your phone. But some of the things it tracks include how many times you pick up your phone, the amount of sleep you got last night, how stationary you are, the longest time you've gone without using your phone during the day, and just a bunch more other statistics. If you want to get a grasp on how addicted you are to your phone, check out Offscreen. Active Neurons is a fun puzzle game that trains spatial logical thinking. Playing with the white power of thought, you have to charge neurons with electric charges. The more charged neurons, the healthier our brain. The healthier the brain, the more fully fledged life a person lives. There's a bunch of obstacles to get around that makes the game quite challenging, such as destructive red thoughts that need to be destroyed with positive green thoughts. Meanwhile, purple neurotransmitters can teleport you from one space to another. There's 80 logical tasks to perform and more than 10 types of game mechanics. You add in the cool meditative music and you have yourself a pretty fun indie puzzle game that costs $2. Disney Plus is the newest streaming service to hit the market and it's already a contender for I would say the best streaming app just because Disney owns so much content. For about seven bucks a month, you get access to every TV show or movie that Disney owns, including The Simpsons, since Disney bought 21st Century Fox. And you also get Marvel movies and Star Wars movies. They even have some of their own original shows like The Mandalorian, which is the first Star Wars TV show that I've 
I've uh, I've really enjoyed. The app is very nostalgic for me because I can watch all the shows that I grew up watching on the Disney Channel, and I think $7 per month isn't too much to ask, especially since you can view this content on just about any device you have. Step World uses your iPhone's health data to calculate your daily, weekly, and monthly step counts in a super user-friendly design. What's also neat is the social aspect, as you can share your steps with your friends or family and even complete strangers from around the world if that's what you want to do. You'll see a leaderboard right when you first boot up the app with all the people who have taken the most steps. If you're looking for a step counting application, you should check out Step World. Minecraft Earth is an AR version of the classic Minecraft game that lets you create structures and explore new environments in the real world. You perform a lot of the same actions found in the computer game, like you collect resources and go on adventures, but the AR aspect is super cool and unique as you can place your creations in your real physical environment. I think if you're a fan of Pokemon Go or the classic Minecraft game, you will love Minecraft Earth. It's still in beta, and there are definitely going to be some bugs, but it still runs very well. Noto is a clean and modern note-taking application chocked full of tools and features like a dark mode, a to-do checklist, iCloud support, and gestures. You can draw and do math problems, and you can even code using this app. There's a million different note-taking apps on the App Store, but this is a really good app to start with. Muse is a meditation app that will walk you through guided meditations, it'll track your progress, and help set reminders to help you build a consistent practice. It does work with their Muse headband, but you don't need this physical device to get some use out of this app. I like how there's various meditation practices designed to reduce stress or improve sleep, but there's also other meditation practices to make you like happier or work harder or increase confidence. There's even mind, body, heart, and breath meditation practices as well. BND is a rhythm game where you play alongside a boy called Shunai who loves music, he loves dancing, and his pet dog named Sherry. It's a game that combines whack-a-mole with a rhythm game. By tapping and flicking on various characters who appear in the windows of a building with the right timing, you can have an experience as if you are playing music with your fingertips. The more you play, the more difficult the game becomes, but if you're a fan of music games, I think this is one of the best new music games on the App Store. LazyBoard is a very unique third-party keyboard app where you type phrases instead of letters to help save time. What it does is it saves custom phrases that you can create and then inserts those phrases into text boxes with one easy tap. So you can create a shortcut for, let's say, LOL. You tap on LOL and it'll spell out laugh out loud or FWIW, which is for what it's worth. But you can create custom ones like, hey, what's up? The app syncs to iCloud to keep all of your iOS devices up to date with the phrases you create. If you like what you see, you might want to check out LazyBoard. Naboki is a super minimal puzzle game about taking levels apart. There are no tutorials, there are no scores, no text, just the puzzles to solve. So if you like what you see, and you don't like apps that bombard you with ads and menu screens and whatnot, you should look into Naboki. Microsoft recently made a math solving application that uses AI to solve math problems for you. But what's neat about this app is that you can either write down the equation on the screen or you can use your camera to take a picture of the math problem where it will then recognize the problem and help you solve it with step-by-step -step explanations with graphs and similar problems it has found from the web and from online video lectures. If you're currently taking a math class and you need some extra help, you should definitely check this app out. Renegade Racing is a fun multiplayer racing game where you can perform epic stunts to gain turbo and race your way to victory. There's tons of different courses and cars to unlock along with a bunch of power-ups to collect. The races are 1v5 and consist of you doing flips to collect turbo to help beat your opponents. Overall, it's a simple cartoony racing game that's a lot of fun. David's Disposable is a new app from David Dobrik, the YouTube vlogger turned Nickelodeon celebrity turned entrepreneur, I don't know, what do you want to call him? I've been watching his vlogs for years and cannot get enough of them. He's released an app that simulates a disposable camera. You take photos via this digital disposable camera UI, complete with a small viewfinder. After you take a photo, you have to wait until 9 a.m. the next day 
until the photo is developed, just like the real disposable camera. The photos you take will have a special filter applied to them to replicate the disposable camera look. And what's cool is you can order actual prints and have them shipped to your actual house. The app is kind of trolling with the wait times, but it's also somewhat functional with the real prints being shipped to your house. Readaway is a new app that can convert any text into an audio version. All you have to do is open the app and scan any document or a book page and then press listen. What's also cool is you can paste URLs to an article for it to convert that article into an audiobook of sorts. This is just a great app to have if you like audiobooks and prefer listening to text as opposed to reading text. Ubi's Dimensions is a neat game set in a multi-dimensional world. You play as a character named Ubi who has to solve the 50 handcrafted levels. The controls are simple, swipe or tap with one finger to move and you can rotate and zoom the camera with two fingers. Meanwhile, a three finger tap will quickly undo your last move. So the game is really simple, it's beautiful, it's trippy, and most importantly, it's pretty fun. Informable is an app from the News Literacy Project that aims to test your ability to sort fact from fiction and score points for accuracy. The app will teach you how to spot ads, distinguish news from opinion, detect faulty evidence, and identify fact-based and opinion-based statements, all of which are important things to know how to do when browsing the web and consuming news. Best of all, the app is free and it doesn't require you to sign into an account to test your skills. Treasure Have More is a money management app unlike any other I've seen because it tracks the money you don't spend. There's a ton of money management apps on the App Store, but they're pretty much, they've pretty much all scared me away because they require some kind of subscription or large upfront fee. Treasure is completely free, so the app helps you save money by making it fun to save and track your progress towards your goals. So every time you're about to go spend money but decide not to, you enter the amount you saved into the app. For example, you get a $2 coffee instead of a $6 cappuccino. You enter $4 into Treasure. After a while, you'll start to see how your small decisions add up and save you money. The app is simple and effective, you should definitely give it a try. Necrosphere is a platformer game with only two buttons. Your goal is to become the recently deceased agent Terry Cooper and escape the underworld while facing the toughest, meanest, and most difficult obstacles ever devised. Necrosphere is where you go when you die, regardless of being good or bad. You don't see other people around there. You don't have anything to do except wait for eternity. As soon as Agent Terry Cooper hits Necrosphere, he learns about the portals that can take him back to the world of the living, also called the Normal Sphere, and his quest is to escape the afterlife. If you like what you see, you should consider giving this game a download. Brave Private Web Browser is an excellent privacy-centric browser for iOS that's constantly being updated with new features. You've probably heard the name before because it's been around for a while, but has recently been updated with some improved background images and NFC support for the Ubico hardware authentication key. Some of the key features include built-in third-party ad blocking, a pop-up blocker, tracking protection, and most importantly, <laughs> private tabs to keep your browsing nice and private. I want to include this app on the list because we're going into 2020 and it seems like privacy is increasingly being put on the back burner. WallP is one of the newest wallpaper apps that offers a ton of beautiful images to spice up the look and feel of your iPhone. There's a bunch of categories to search through, including this week's favorites and wallpapers we love. There's even a randomized feature that puts random images on your phone's home screen if you're ballsy enough to try that. Buttercup Password Manager is an open source password manager that helps you track and store your login information. Your passwords are, uh, according to the app, encrypted and available across a number of devices since Buttercup has a desktop app and browser extension. There's a bunch of password managers out there, each with their own set of pros and cons, but this might be a good one to try if you have yet to start using a password manager. The last app we have for you is Microbreaker. It's a classic arcade game with a new and modern look. Essentially what it is is a 2019 brick breaking game filled with various power-ups and difficult stages. You can unlock different paddles and balls that you can use to beat your high scores and climb your way up the online rankings. There are over 130 stages, but my favorite aspect 
has to be the 3D graphics. I, I just love simple games, but one of the things that dates them so much is the graphics. So it's nice to see a classic arcade game with up-to-date visuals. All right, guys, with that last one, those are 120 of our favorite iOS apps released during 2019. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like it, more app videos in general, please give it a thumbs up. It lets us know that you guys want to see more. Maybe subscribe if you're brand new and just let us know which app is your favorite in a comment down below. Do you have any apps that we did not discuss in these videos? Let us know which app is your favorite from 2019 down below. As always, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.